presidential election has now been pushed from the 17th to the 26th of October. The IBC said the new date, just a day after the Supreme Court gave new orders on the fresh poll. The day was set as President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is accusing the Supreme Court of subverting the will of the people, asked the highest court in the land to explain what he termed as a monstrous injustice in nullifying his victory. Our senior reporter Rita Tinina begins our broadcast tonight. We find that the 2017 presidential election was not conducted in accordance with the principles laid down in the Constitution and the written law on elections. The Supreme Court verdict that indicted the IEBC in the conduct of the 8th of August general election gave the electoral body new orders. We hereby direct that in conducting the fresh election, IEBC must put in place a complementary system that accords with the provisions of Section uh, 40, 44A of the Elections Act. A day later, the IEBC set the 26th of October as the new date for the repeat presidential poll, 10 days after its initial 17th of October date. A move the IEBC in a statement said will ensure the commission is fully prepared to deliver an election that meets the standard set by the Supreme Court. <laughs> The opposition coalition, NASA, has maintained that it will not take part in the election until its demands are met. Among them, the removal from office of some IEBC officials, including CEO Ezra Chiloba, and having a new firm aside from Al Gurea, print ballot papers. Which must be fulfilled before we go for a repeat presidential elections. We are ready. But we are ready on our own terms. But at State House Nairobi, President Uhuru Kenyatta was talking tough. There shall and must be an election within that constitutionally stipulated period. Since the 1st of September, the president has been taking on the Supreme Court for nullifying his election victory. He says the court did not consider evidence before it. It is now manifestly clear that despite the fact that the relevant forms had already been deposited in court by the IEBC, no proper scrutiny or verification Ever took place. In a 19-minute press conference, the president largely reacted to the Supreme Court ruling. Not only did the judgment rob the Kenyan people of their democratic right as exercised on August 8th, but it also now has the potential to throw our country into judicial chaos. Uhuru Kenyatta claims the court took a narrow-minded view without reference to numbers. That the number of votes I, as a candidate, obtained were not contested. He now wants an explanation from the highest court in the land as to why it overturned his victory. The Supreme Court owes Kenyans an explanation on how such a monstrous injustice could have taken place. With the president insisting the election will go on and with the opposition maintaining no election will take place until the IEBC implements changes, uncertainty over the repeat poll continues with 34 days to go. Rita Tinina, KTN News.